Hey, welcome back. In this video, I just want to go over one more example of a current division circuit. So here we have four parallel resistors and one single voltage source. So to, first of all, what we need to do is we need to find the total resistance. And in this case, the total resistance of the circuit is just equal to the inverse of the sum of each of the inverses of the resistances. So we have 1 over 10 ohms plus 1 over 50 ohms plus 1 over... 20 ohms plus 1 over 40 ohms. So we can simplify that in the calculator and we'll get 1 over 0 0.195. And that means that we have a total resistance of 5.128 ohms. So the next thing that we have to do is write Ohm's law. So we have V equals I. This is going to be the total current times the total resistance which gives us the total voltage drop from here to here, basically the top node to the bottom node, which is going to be 6 volts. So we can rearrange that, so we have I total is just going to be equal to that voltage drop over the total resistance. And we can plug in the values that we know, so we have 6 volts over 5.128 ohms, and that gives us a total current of 1.17 amps. So that is the current that comes around like this, I tote is equal to 1.17 amps. It's the same as the current flowing through here, which is 1.17 amps. And then we want to find in the next step what each of these individual currents are flowing through each of the resistors. So we have all of these, that's I3 and I4. So if you remember the current division formula, it is the current flowing through a given resistor is equal to the total current times the ratio of the total resistance over the resistance of the individual resistor that the current is flowing through that we're looking at. Now, if you can't remember this, you can derive it really quickly. So we can write Ohm's law, V equals IR, and set the subscript to an individual resistor. So we have the individual current flowing through that resistor is equal to the voltage drop across it, divided by the individual resistance. But the voltage drop across any of these individual resistors is the same as the voltage drop just from the top node to the bottom node as if we were using the equivalent resistor here. So that means that this V equals I tote times R tote is equal to this V here. It's the same voltage drop. So what we can do is we can substitute it in. So we have the individual current is equal to I total times R total all over the individual resistance. And that is the same expression that we have here, I total times R total over the individual resistance. Okay, cool. So let's get rid of this so we have some more space to work with. And we can fill in our values here. So we're going to have the individual current is equal to the total current, which is 1.17 amps, times this fraction. So we have 5.128 ohms over the individual resistance. So let's do I1 first. So we have over 10 ohms. Okay, we can write our answers right here. So we're gonna have I1, and this is just equal to 1.17 amps times 5.128 ohms divided by 10 ohms. So that is a value of 0 0.6 amps, or we can also write that as 600 milliamps. We can solve for the current in resistor two as well, just by updating our expression here to have 50 ohms on the bottom instead of 10, and then 1.17 amps times 5.128 ohms divided by 50 ohms gives us 0 0.12 amps. But 0 0.12 amps is the same thing as 120 milliamps. Okay, we can do this one more time for resistor three, and we can put in what we have, so that is 20 ohms. And then again, if you crunch this, you're gonna see that current three is going to be equal to 0 0.3 amps and 0 0.3 amps is the same thing as 300 milliamps. And then lastly, we can check for the current flowing through resistor four. So let's update what we have down here. And that is over 40 ohms for the individual resistor. And then 1.17 times 5.128 divided by 40 gives us 0 0.15 amps. And 0 0.15 amps is just equal to 150 milliamps. You can convert between amps and milliamps by just a factor of a thousand. 
Okay, cool guys. That's all I wanted to do in this video. Just do one really quick example working through another problem with the current division formula. And thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.